Candy apples, candy apples, candy apples. This is the candy apple recipe that will change your life for good without having the headaches from other candy apple recipes that don't deliver. I use 641 candy apple recipe, whether you have 3, 6, 9, 12, 18, 24 candy apples. This is the candy apple recipe, 641, that will deliver and get your candy apples covered. I am using Wilton's white white icing just to show you the white color. I am adding Hobby Lobby's chocolate just a drop to get the new color for my candy apples. Once I finish dipping my nude colored candy apples, I will design these beautiful candy apples with the balloon columns. These nude colored candy apples are for a baby shower. This is the 641 candy apple recipe, six cups of sugar, four cups of water, and one cup of light corn syrup. If you have made this candy apple recipe 641, please let me know down in the comment section. Please let me know how this candy apple recipe worked out for you. I didn't put the candy apple stick in good on this apple because I want to show you what happens when your sticks are not really in good. The bubbles form on top of your candy apples and the reason why the bubble forms is because some of that apple juice came out. So use a toothpick. I have a fondant tool just poke a hole in it and it'll pop right on out. This is something you must do right away. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me dip all of these apples. You get the point. You can get as many apples you need to get dipped in one pot. This candy apple recipe 641 is the bomb diggity. This is gum text powder you can use if your fondant becomes sticky. I am getting ready to place the fondant inside the pearl silicone mold. These are fondant tools I also have to use to work with my fondant. So I am placing my fondant down in the silicone mold to make the balloons. Any extra fondant that I have in the silicone mold, I will just use my fondant tool to scrape the extra fondant out the silicone mold. Just watch.
I will place these on the candy apple. The brown fondant just sticks on. With the pink fondant, I will get a treat brush and just put a dab of water on the treat brush and dab a little water on the back of the pink fondant to stick. I will also do that with the sugar pearls, the gold sugar pearls. Now you can use adhesive edible glue if you like. candy apple bows for these candy apples but I thought the candy apple bows was just doing too much I have too much decoration on this candy apple so I am NOT going to add candy apple bows on these candy apples well I'm gonna let you guys be the judge let me know whether you like the candy apples with the bows or without the bows put it in the comment section and I'm going to show you the difference um, here in a few seconds but these are the candy apple bows that I did make if you need help on making candy apple bows click right here at the top of your screen for all the help you need and all the candy apple bow tutorials you need on how to make candy apple bows the main tip on making candy apple bows is making sure you have double face satin ribbon. Burn your tips. Now take a look at the candy apples without the bow and with the bow. Let me know down in the comment section if you like these candy apples, these particular candy apples with the bow or without the bow. If you have enjoyed this candy apple tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next candy apple tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video.